So you've just decided to upgrade your old trustworthy DVI or VGA monitor to a brand new display port or HDMI monitor and use 21st century technology in your monitor. But you turn off your monitor and you turn it back on and you realize something's not quite right here. Your icons got moved all over. What do you do? Well, today I'm going to show you how to stop that from happening. So what you do is you have to remotely connect to another computer. You could use Google's Chrome Remote Desktop, Windows Remote Desktop. You could even use your phone if you want. Or you could do what I'm going to do and use TeamViewer. Now TeamViewer, or you could even probably use LogMeIn, I'm not really sure. When you hear t about TeamViewer, you might think, oh, that's a scam. But it's really not. If you use TeamViewer for your own stuff, that's fine if somebody tells you, oh, you gotta download this TeamViewer file on like, from like some shady website and then connect to somebody else's computer. If like Microsoft calls you and tells you to do that, don't, don't do it. Or Windows or whatever. If somebody calls you out of the blue and tells you you have a virus, just either hang up or just keep them on the line and like make them confused and have fun you could do that um now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use you could even use vnc as well but i'm going to use team viewer on my tablet right here on my tablet i'm going to connect from my tablet to my desktop computer now i'm going to zoom in now that i've zoomed into my tablet i'm going to click right here on my um, computer and choose remote control now on my other screen, that'll tell me that I would like to view and control your desktop. I'll hit allow, then I'll allow myself to view my screen. And on the other display, my tablet, on my tablet, I'm gonna go up here and click request remote control. And then it's gonna ask me, I'm using my computer, my desktop computer's mouse now. I'm going to choose, um, Yes, I want to grant them access because it's myself. Now I can just kind of hide this thing down here. And I want to click right here where it has switch to full screen mode just so that it's in the full screen view so that it's easier to see. I'm going to hide this thing up here. So now what you want to do, there we go. There we go. I rotated my um, camera screen so that it wasn't... Um, I rotated my camera screen so that there wasn't that glare in it. So now there's not going to be glare in the middle of the screen. So what you do is on your uh, remote connection on another computer, which is connected to your main desktop computer, you want to right click on the desktop, choose screen resolution, You want to turn off your screen. And now it kind of acts funny. I need to zoom out a little bit. And now, and now it looks kind of weird because it's like bigger. And most people apparently have this set to 800 by 600, but I think mine was 1024 by 768. Now see here where it says display device on VGA. You want to make sure that's like that. Under resolution, you want to click here and then change to whatever resolution your main monitor uses. You want to click and drag that thing right there. For me, I'm using 1920 by 1080. Um, for you, it might be different. For you, it might be different, but then you want to hit apply keep changes and as you can see now it looks like it should I'm gonna zoom out
can turn my monitor back on and it should remain exactly why is that so far tilted where's the base of the monitor oh wait there we go and now when we turn it on and off the only thing that should change is the mouse cursor so if you actually I'm zooming in So if you look right here where this blue screen file was, I'm moving it over. I'm mo uh, the mouse ends up like right in here. I'm moving my mouse like oh like right over here, <sighs> turning the display off and turning it back on to show you that it does indeed move. I'm not touching anything. I'm not touching the tablet. See it moved back into the middle. It's kind of blurry. There we go. And I forgot. I should get rid of Western Digital Backup because it's horrible. Um, but now it's back into the center of the screen. So that's good. And this even seems to help fix um, windows. Like you, like you move a window around or like you have a window in a certain position like this size right over here. You turn the display off turn it back on but as you can see the window stays where it should be so that is a very good thing if you have any questions if you need help with this um, go ahead and leave a question down in the comment section down below this video and I'll try to help you this was Drew Naylor goodbye for now now to fix my desktop icons ah. That shouldn't be like that. Yeah.